All right. One of the great things about uh, Prescott is there are new businesses popping up all the time. So, Tess, we are not putting on the Ritz. We're putting on the hats. This is a hat store. That's the name of this place right here. We literally were just walking down Whiskey Row and saw it and said, we had to come by it. Do you like this with the turquoise? Yes. It's a little big. Think think. you could ride a horse with that on? I think you could. Maybe one of those miniature ones. I don't think it can hold my weight, unfortunately. It was a 65-pound limit. So, But uh, <laughs> all fun stuff that you can find here in downtown Prescott, of course. So we talked about how it continues to grow as well, despite how historic it is. One of the places that's opening up, they have a ribbon-cutting ceremony mm-hmm. um, coming up here. But they, the, the Chamber of Commerce tells us that throughout the next few months, all the way until May, they have ribbon cuttings Schedule. That's how much the town is growing. That is fantastic. And one of the rest, one of the businesses, is a restaurant called Bear and Dragon. It started as a trailer uh, mm-hmm. near the courthouse here. So that's where Jamie is this morning. What's up, Jamie? Hi, Jamie. Mm. Hey, Scotty. I'm sipping. Hi, Tess. I found coffee. I'm sipping on my honey bear here at the Bear <laughs> and Dragon. You said a lot of businesses are popping up. I'll tell you what. This business is popping. This place is packed. People are lining up to have breakfast here, uh, a proper English breakfast. And you're going to love the couple behind uh, Bear and Dragon, named after their kids, the Bear and the Dragon. Uh, Amanda and Chris, hello, you two. Hi. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your story because you are what a rebound Prescottonian. Yeah, a boomerang Prescottonian. Prescottonian. <laughs> Tell me about where you've been and why you came back. Oh gosh, um, yeah. After high school, I went to NAU, and after that, I was abroad teaching English in Slovakia, and then, you know, a student in Spain too, and then I was out in California for a long time, and then in England as well, out, yeah, out there doing some screenplay work with an author I used to work with, <laughs> came back and finally um, found my husband, yeah, moved to Louisiana. Where, where, where'd, you where'd you find the <laughs> husband? Where'd you find the husband? Through a roommate in, in high school, uh, in college, sorry, oh, wow. and she knew him and I, and so she introduced us and that was that. Oh, wow. yeah. And Chris, a Marine, thank you yeah. for serving. Uh, tell me about the food truck business, which you guys are just two, three months old as a restaurant? Not even two months old, yeah, and um, I think right out the gate, we just became the place to go to in the morning and, and for lunch. Um, it's been great. I think we built a really good, cozy environment. It's warm for everybody to come and relax and uh, enjoy some good food. I was told by a couple ladies who were heading out the door, will you pour the tea for me? Uh, that you've got to have the English scones and the lemon curd is delicious. This place has a lot of literary references. Why is that? Um, I am an author and I love books and I just feel like books make a place cozy and nostalgic and it just brings a certain charm and so people feel like they're having an experience on top of the food. It's books being surrounded by that just gives you what you... You casually mentioned I am an author. (laughs) This is your book right here. It is, yeah. That's my first book of a trilogy. That's uh, Mirror with the Mermaid Mermaid Witch and the second book is out as well. Um, I will have those on the shelf soon and that's Ah, that's a lot of fun. And signed, please. (laughs) So Chris, you brought a proper English breakfast for us. What is this? This is the Tolkien's breakfast, the English breakfast. Tolkien, the, Tolkien, the author. Um, it's a proper English breakfast. They've got the Irish rashers and the banger, the sautéed tomato uh, mushrooms, sunny side up eggs, nice grilled toast, and the proper beans. What, is it, what do we have here? That's the soft scramble. That's got the soft scrambled toast, a little bit of crispy uh, shallots on the top, and our potato galettes. Yeah. Well, you know what? Strangely enough, those are exactly what Victor and I ordered. So it might just be time for breakfast right now. It is the Bear and Dragon in Prescott. Check it out. It is definitely the place to be. This guy.